Hello there. It feels like the right time of year for a bit of a red lipstick refresher, don't you think? I love red lips all year round in many forms, but if you're looking to add festive red into some holiday looks this year, there are lots of different ways to do it. I recently shared a reel on Instagram of some Parisian red lipsticks inspired by the new Taylor Swift song Paris. I've been posting midnight's makeup edits on my Instagram at Matilda on video for the past month if you fancy popping over and people really got into picking their favorite reds so I thought we could do something similar here. Eight options for a range of red lipstick looks. This barely scratches the surface of my red obsession but I wanted to represent a variety of styles, textures, finishes, wear times, different ways to do red. So here's a satin, the original and the best question mark? I'll let you discuss that in the comments. Mattes in different forms, classic, creamy, crayon and blotted, sheers, nice and balmy, easy and approachable and a liquid at the strongest end of the scale. You just have to find your crimson comfort zone. Red doesn't need to feel intimidating, it can be toned down to something more subtle, then more dramatic. It's timeless, then it's modern. It's cool, then warm, everything in between. Then there's red tinted balms and red lip glosses, that's another story. You can find old videos on those topics linked below. I'm looking forward to hearing your favourite way to wear red in the comments. When I think of a classic, ageless red lipstick, I think Satin and I think Chanel Rouge Allure in 99 Pirate. Probably one of the brand's most famous shades and a well-regarded red in the industry. It's that quintessential blue-toned, makes your teeth look really white sort of red. So flattering, very comfortable, smooth, creamy application with a luminous sheen. If a beauty lover was asking me for an all-time red lipstick recommendation, recommendation, just one, pirates usually what comes to mind. Having said that, red satins are very elegant, but I personally love a matte red too. So much so, I couldn't pick just one. There are subtle differences here. A true matte, a creamier matte, and different styles. A crayon and a blotted lip look. Legendary makeup artist Lisa Eldridge created instantly iconic reds. Her true velvet lipstick in Velvet Ribbon is probably most famous, a neutral slash blue red, but in the interest of sharing different red tones, I'm swatching Velvet Morning. I also love dark red velvet jazz. Velvet Morning is my summery red, an orange toned option that's so fiery, velvety with intense pigmentation and a slight sheen, but it can eventually feel a little dry if I'm not using a lip balm in between layers. A creamier matte I can rely on in any setting is Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution formula. My love of these tubes was well documented in a big swatching video last year, including a comparison of a handful of her reds, but if I could only keep one, it's Red Carpet Red. A stunning rich ruby that always makes an impact because it's ever so slightly deeper and warmer than other brands' signature reds. A bit more of a statement and instantly makes you feel glamorous. Another matte, just a change in format, there's something quite user-friendly about a lipstick crayon compared to a bullet. In the same way, an eyeshadow stick feels easy to smudge on or you can still be quite precise. Enter NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. Despite Dragon Girl being a very popular, reportedly Taylor Swift approved, cool toned red, I actually prefer Mysterious Red, more of a deep crimson. Reliable, smooth, long-lasting, non-drying, big shade range, so let me know your favourites. At the end of the matte line is a blotted sheer matte. Nice way to move on to more sheers in a minute. Nothing I'd rather use than Bobbi Brown's Crushed Lip Colour, one of my most worn, most purchased formulas in the last five years. It's actually more of a satin matte with a bit of a sheen, comfy but weightless, and looks blotted straight from the bullet. Wonderfully low maintenance lip colour. This deep, almost brownie red ruby compared to previous cooler reds is a favourite of mine to dress up any outfit. Which leads us to the shears, balmy and easy in a different way. Mattes might stay in place and give you peace of mind, but shears are often more comfortable and more subtle and easy by design. A shining example of this is Gucci's Rouge à Lèvres Voile Formula, my single favourite product of the year back in 2019. Goldie Red is the Gucci Red, their signature warm, juicy, orangey red, a bit more casual and spirited than a classic blue-toned tube. 
beautifully balmy and lightweight with again a bit of a satin finish so it's not going to slip and slide everywhere it does stick around then softly fades evenly stunning packaging is just a bonus when the formula is this good or you might prefer a hybrid sheer lipstick slash tinted balm not all the way to balm you can find previous picks in an old video just a sheer with a regular bullet but a noticeably balmy texture the most recent red arrival by les fillons rouge ticks that box this is parisian style icon jeanne damas's baby the beauty sub brand of her fashion line rouge le balm in chouchou gives you that effortlessly chic french flushed lip a pop of poppy in a smooth, oil-based, 99% naturally derived formula. Finishing with the most intense, most long-wearing option, a liquid lipstick. Famously not something I'm a big fan of. Paint-like thick liquid lipsticks are too drying for me, but I love an airy, lighter liquid lip like Dior's Rouge Dior Forever Liquid. Creamy, soft, buildable, but so light and thin once it sets, and the colour does not move. I've worn this formula to two weddings this year and that's a good test of what I trust for wear time. 999 Forever Dior is the definitive Dior red, more vibrant than other classics like Chanel. Feeling festive now? I hope so. From the list of traditional satins, reliable mattes, balmy shears and long-lasting liquids, which type of red do you usually run towards? Maybe a little bit of everything like me. Did you spot any exact matches here or a new shade that jumped out at you? Is there a particular brand you think does reds really well? Please share your adventures in the world of scarlet lipsticks below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.